Hello and welcome back to another episode of Unleashing Your Potential, previously known as Wake Up Poverty Inspires Me. Uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't. Um, I want to take a moment just to say thank you to everybody who has tuned in and listened to my podcast. I have seen some very positive numbers and positive growth because of uh, your your tuning in, so thank you. Um, let's get right to it. Today I want to talk about a word that we often we use it and we just kind of throw it around that that word is called discipline discipline everybody says you can't be inspired you can't be motivated you must be disciplined and then we all walk around and we're like oh i'm gonna get disciplined so we we need something to get us disciplined so usually we want to get some kind of uh, inspiration or, or motivation we want to maybe go put a rocky movie in and kind of be in that moment where he's like come on rock Come on, Rock, what's wrong with you? And then be able to get up, put that music on, and catch that catch that chicken and say, I did it, Mick, I did it. And and be able to have that awe-inspiring moment, and then, and then something happens. The movie ends. Oh, man, oh, man, the movie ends. We better put it in part two. So we put it in part two. We get a little bit more inspired. Ultimately, we've watched them all. We, we went through all the Creed movies. Now we're, we're left standing here needing more inspiration and the point is insp- motivation. Inspiration. We, we could give it whatever words we want, but we're chasing a feeling. We're, we're chasing a, a way of wanting to be in our life. This is it. You know, it's like, it's like looking in the mirror and saying, man, I wonder what I look like. Well, you've already judged yourself about a hundred times while you're looking at yourself. So what do you mean you wonder what you look like? You reaffirmed every flaw, every characteristic usually that you like or dislike. This looks good, that don't, I like this, I like that. You've already put it into categories of being, so therefore you've disciplined yourself to see yourself in a certain way because you repeat this action unconsciously. This is discipline, it's repetitive, repetitive action unconsciously. Everybody's disciplined at something. You say, I have no discipline, I would disagree. I would say you have a lot of discipline, just where is it focused? You might be very disciplined to watch TV. You might be very disciplined to be lazy. You might be very disciplined for things that don't serve your overall well-being, your quality of life. And if you can't serve your quality of life, then are you just existing? I mean, can you really truly live if all of your life you're just thinking you're undisciplined? And the whole time you've been super disciplined. You've been disciplined at something, that's for sure. So sometimes it's just understanding that discipline is just a word. It's a word that we put on habits into things that we regularly do. A best way to attack this thing is to put it, for example, let's say you have been really wanting to be disciplining to discipline yourself to read more. This is a discipline trait that somebody can look at and say, I want to learn to do this thing more. So they want to learn to do a thing more and they find themselves not doing that thing at all. And then they think they're undisciplined. But they're very disciplined. They're just not disciplined to that thing yet. Because they have yet to know how to go past the subconscious program that's making them do the opposite of the thing they want to do. It's like playing chess. You're a checkmate. All right, let's play again. Checkmate, play again. Why do you keep playing every time you know you're going to get checkmated? Because you assume that one day you'll be able to win. But if you can't see the moves strategically, then you'll keep making the same move on the chessboard and you keep getting put in checkmate. Your life's not any different. So when you want to discipline something, you got to put it in a place where you're already doing something so you can trick your mind into doing the thing you want to do. All right, let's start with uh, reading. I want to read more, but I can't find the time. This is often said by many people. I can't find the time. We all have 24 hours. We all have time. The time is, is what we're doing in this moment. I say I don't have time to make a podcast, but I labeled it 10 minutes of wisdom. So in 10 minutes, I better make that time and I better make it, make it work because there's a multitude of other 10 minutes of the day. And to say I don't have time would be lying to myself. I didn't make time. Oh, well, that's obvious. We all know that, Chris. Of course we do. Then why we keep doing the same thing? Because we don't know what we don't know yet. So let's let's just kind of follow me with this, all right? So the person who wants to read is going to take a book. They're going to put it on their nightstand. 
they're going to put it on their nightstand for one reason. And you know what's probably going to happen? They're probably not going to read it again because it wasn't in a place that was going to inconvenience them. Because they might come to bed at night, see it on their nightstand, say, yeah, I know I really should read it, and go to bed. <clears throat> All right, so we have to take another approach. So now we're going to do the same thing, but this time we're going to put it on the pillow. So now you have to physically remove it from your bed. I mean, you actually have to touch it. Now in the act of touching it, you're holding it. Now you have a second level choice. An unconscious choice is acknowledgement and then an unacknowledging and then a continuation of the same habit. Now you have physically made contact with your choices. What are you going to do? Now let's say you pick it up and you set it to the side. And then once again, you're not reading like you wanted to. All right, let's go back with example three. You've already done this once. You've done this twice. You think you have no discipline, but your discipline is just unconsciously ahead of you, so you're unable to be aware of how to circumvent it and turn it around. So the next day, you find a book that you're really interested in, and you see if it's on Audible book, because you must be persistent. You see, these things are intertwined. Discipline doesn't stand alone. It stands together with other qualities, persistence being one. Now, since this podcast, is, this episode is only about discipline, I'm going to stick to discipline. So now what we're going to do is we're going to find the book we want. We're going to put it on an audio book on YouTube. And we're going to put the remote and the channel set for the time that we go to bed. And when we go to bed, it's going to come on and it's going to start playing. Now, you're reading your book. You're changing through repetition you're changing the circuitry the way that your brain is wired to do things and you're doing them differently and from this book you will learn knowledge you will gain things you will learn insight you will in have enjoyment relaxation you will probably fall asleep but the, the seed has been planted the idea has been set so what you do from that point well finish the book and follow through you see you built a new habit you built a new way of being you placed the habit in a place that you're already doing something and you made it into a area that it can't be ignored how important are these things to you that you want to do do you want to exercise it's 119 degrees right now in phoenix today is the hottest day of the year by far and when i'm done making this podcast and the sun settles just a little bit i'm gonna go outside and work out in my yard seems crazy but I need it I need it for my soul I need it for my body I need it for my spirit I need it for my mind so I can continue to do these things that are hard everybody needs something at some point to just change that one thing that could take them left or, or has been taking them right sometimes it's some motivation sometimes it's some inspiration sometimes it's just some belief in unleashing your own potential and sometimes it's just knowing how to do it a lot of times it's just knowing how to do it because if you don't know how to do it you just get inspired and then you get off and then you're like all right now what all right i just told you how to start with something simple like reading a book place it in a place of habits so you already do it you want to eat better okay fine start becoming accountable for what you're actually eating look at your nutrients start tracking your food be consistent with it oh i can't do it okay well then just Get up every day and track a banana. Every day, do it. Every day, track a banana. And then track your, your breakfast. And then just do that and just keep building the discipline. You know, because the discipline is going in another thing. Right now, if a person wants to eat better, they're probably not being accountable for what they're eating. It's not that they're eating bad. They're probably just either over or under eating. Their, their eating is, is out of whack with the calorie intake necessity. So... Learning things about yourself and changing things that you want to change is not as hard as we think. It's a matter of putting habits and places and things that we already do them. And then believing in ourselves enough that when it fails the first time, it's just a learning step for a better way. Just like the book. It didn't work when I put it on the nightstand. It still didn't work when I put it on the bed. And when I put it on YouTube and I push play, I had no choice but to listen to it. Whether I fell asleep listening to it or not was besides the point. Because I am now an avid reader because my discipline has always been discipline. It just is a directed discipline that I am now aware 
I have control over just like you you have control over your disciplines so you can do what you want you can unleash your potential to the world and you don't have to apologize to nobody for it because it's within your capabilities to do it at this moment in this moment as we're speaking I'm in the process of creating something huge that I want to give to the world that I never know if I could do I did that when I made my books I'm doing this podcast always believe in yourself adversity resilience and being authentic authentically who you are you find a way to motivate yourself to build confidence to empower yourself and to other people to set goals and continually to develop yourself this is why unleashing your potential inspires me and this is why wake up poverty inspires me is now unleashing your potential because I believe whatever the mind can think like uh, James Allen said many years ago whatever the mind can conceive and believe the mind can definitely achieve. I'm over my 10 minutes. I want to thank you very much for taking the time to tune into this episode of Discipline on Unleashing Your Potential. Please like and subscribe. Until next time, once again, thank you very much.